Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode with the Omega Enthusiast. On today's video, I will be doing a review on my personal vintage Benrus Sky Chief chronograph watches. Benrus, uh, which is an American watch company founded in 1921 in New York by Benjamin Lazarus and his two brother. He used it the first and last syllable of his full name to name this company. 20 years later, in 1941, during the era of this, uh, the Second World War, with the growing needs of pilot, Benrus developed the legendary Sky Chief model. As Benrus begins to collaborate with many leading aviation companies during the time, the model Sky Chief eventually took the name, the official watch of famous airlines. In our modern days, a collector will recognize Benrus as a company famous for their military tour watches, such as their field watch, dive watch for the Navy, wrist alarm, and of course, to help conquer the sky with their Sky Chief pilot watch. Not to mention that Benrus reintroduced it, their Sky Chief model, but uses a quartz movement. The Sky Chief model is truly one of the best vintage chronograph watches out there for the buck. Why is that? Well, it is a very well-made watch in all ways. It houses one of the best chronograph movement and still recognized until this day as an impressive movement. The same movement caliber is also used in many vintage Rolex chronograph watches, such as the Daytona Cosmograph, but only for a small fraction of what a Daytona would cost. Throughout the 1940s and 1950s, Benrus introduced it a few variations of the Sky Chief model. However, the most recognized model would be their black dial in full steel with radium numeral indexes and syringe type hands. This design alone will exist in a few variations of its own. The case will come with either a snap on back or a screw on back. The case lugs may and may not have the bevel edges. There's a lot to learn, but regardless of which variation you own, the quality of the watch is just as great. The case diameter measures 35mm across, excluding the crown by 43mm from lug tip to lug tip. The thickness of the watch is 8.6mm without the crystal, and 12mm if I include the current crystal. Crown diameter is 6.8mm by 3.5mm thick. The lug width on the watch measures 18mm. The case lugs will have the easy spring bar release hole. The original crown of a Sky Chief model is always unsigned. The pusher types are square block and they are not water resistant. The case has a removable bezel and a removable case back. The low dome uh, crystal is made of acrylic and does not take a metal tension ring. The original finish of the case will have shine polish front and back with brush finish on both sides of the case. When it comes to buying a vintage Sky Chief watch, you must take into consideration and examine a few things prior to making the purchase. The most common issue with this watch is missing luminous on the dial and hands, or the hands have been relumed. The dial condition is also very important as majority of the time they are poorly aged. When a watch like this shows poorly aged cosmetic condition, it may be a sign indicating that the movement inside may not be as healthy as well. The value of a Sky Chief is very sensitive as any of the factor above can affect the value quite a bit. Tip of the day is to never rush into buying a vintage watch. Be patient and do plenty of research prior to buying a watch. It took me about 5 years until I found my black dial Sky Chief. It is not perfect but it is in excellent condition and well worth the wait. I initially wanted to collect all the Sky Chief model. There are about 4 out there from what I know. And, but at the end, I decided to stick with just 2. You have the original luminous dial design the triple calendar model, the gold triple calendar dress watch model, and the rotating bezel oversized 37mm model. From the three pieces that I own, I would say the rarest example would be this white dial variation since I have only seen two out there until this day. 
Unfortunately, even though the hands are genuine, the aging did not age consistently in the same tone over the many decades. Snap open the case back and you will find this magnificent manual wind chronograph movement. The movement caliber is a Vazu 72 and only a quality watch can afford to use this caliber. The basic co complication version of this movement is used for a 3 register chronograph watch. Then you have the more complicated version of the same caliber which has triple calendar feature or triple calendar with the moon phase feature. That said, there is no moon phase version of the Sky Chief watch. The chronograph function of a Vazu 72 would be the same as an Omega Caliber 321. Top button, when pushed, will start the chronograph. Push it again to pause or stop the chronograph. Then push the bottom button to reset to zero. The regular sweep second hand is located on the left small dial. Here you can see the image of the movement inside a Benrus Sky Chief and the movement inside a Rolex Daytona. The easiest way to recognize a Vazu 72 movement is to look for this piece on the movement. That's the end of this video. If you guys enjoy watching it, please support the channel on my Patreon account. Link is in the description box below. Make sure to hit on that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. If you have any special question related to buying a vintage watch or uh, regarding value of a watch, direct message me on Patreon. And if you're looking to buy a professionally serviced vintage watch, feel free to visit my website for many examples. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.